What's up guys, Matt Nuzzo here with Rich Sabo at the Real Flagship Store to talk to you about the 2013 Best GP. Best GP is a sea kite, five line sea kite, made for hardcore, wake style, freestyle riding. Past that, a little while ago, before I started having gray hair, I've ridden this kite some, but I really don't do it justice. Sabo does this kite justice. See him in the slick, out there ripping, hitting the slider park, throwing the mobs, doing it all. So tell me what's up, dude. What's, what's, how's this kite work? Uh, this kite pretty much, you know, was designed by two of our best riders. You know, they basically were given a limited budget and limited time frame to make the best sea kite ever. Nice. Um, and they are both hardcore wake style, advanced freestyle, Mike Schitzoffer, PKRA rider. Um, PKRA is a competition circuit for those of you who don't know that. Yep, there. yep, I heard of it. Um, and they designed this kite with that in mind. So it's just the ultra strong, awesome freestyle kite. So it delivers lots of slack in the unhook. Um, okay. And it's good for pretty much anybody who's looking to throw their first handle pass and, and go big. Nice. So when you unhook, we're talking about having slack in yeah. it. Like I've heard, heard a lot of guys talk about that. You know, like sometimes like when I unhook on like a TS or something like that, I get this kind of blast of, of power. Is that what you're talking about with slack? Or where, where, explain that. Yeah, yeah. slack uh, it comes from the pop actually is what okay. we're talking about when we talk about these wake style kites yep. um, or these freestyle kites. It's where when you unhook and you release from the water, the amount of tension that's in the line still after you pop is what we're talking about. So right. this kite generates the most amount of slack, making it easy to throw the bar around. So you get a lot stuff. of pop, but then it releases so you can hand, do handle exactly. passes and stuff. Whereas like some of the other hybrid kites, you know, you know compared to the TS, you're not gonna get quite as much slack. You're gonna have kind of more consistent pull through that unhook motion. Right. So it's gonna be a little harder to pass a handle on it. Right, exactly. Right, you're not gonna get quite as much wind range on this kite. No. But again, pick the right size kite, you're fine, right? <laughs> yeah, just get all of them. You know, Then you're you don't not, have a problem. You're not a kiteboard, so pick the right size kite and you're good. Yeah. Awesome, any key features you need to talk about on the GP? Uh, no, we pretty much have kept it the same as last year, so it's the V2. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say that the biggest feature is the reflex edge, so mm -hmm. unlike most sea kites that lay flat on the water, this kite actually has a leading edge that bumps up, which makes it easier to relaunch than most nice. sea kites. Yeah, that's what I noticed too, lightweight turning, you know, the improved, uh, improved uh, material, improved background trailing edge, definitely makes this kite have a little more rigidity than the, the V1, um, but they kept the kite, they didn't screw it up, good job on you guys, best. Stoke, man. Look forward to seeing you on the slick on the GP. Check us out for more reviews online at realwatersports.com. Have a great day.